Hey everybody, happy Friday and welcome to today's Feel Good Friday. This is time we take together in our One Whole Health community with our vibrant women and practice a breathe break. Take that, that 10 minute break every 90 minutes to refresh your mind by paying attention to something else. You can do deep breathing, you can do uh, music, you can do dancing, you can do a yoga stretch, but take yourself away from what you've been focused and concentrating on so hard. Give your brain a different type of stimulation, and then you can come back to what you were doing and have much more attention and focus and motivation and cognitive function. And today on Feel Good Friday, I'm going to talk about do-it-yourself brain remapping. So first of all, I would love to hear from you when you come in here. Say hi. Let me know you're out there. Let me know what you're up to this Friday. And let me know if you've ever done any kind of brain remapping or if you even know what that is uh, because you may not. So, And the reason for that, there's a few different terms. So brain mapping is one turn, uh, term. Brain remapping is another term. And I've also heard neuromapping and read about neuromapping. And these all apply to a, a set, a collection of neuroscience techniques that are predicated on the mapping of uh, biological quantities or impulses and properties into spatial representations of our entire being, resulting in new maps or networks in our brain. Wow, <laughs> that was a mouthful, right? That's uh, that's the official definition of brain mapping. Uh, the Society for Brain Mapping and Therapeutics defines it even further and says that brain mapping or remapping is specifically defined in summary as the study of the anatomy and the function of the brain and spinal cord through the use of imaging, immu immunohistochemistry, molecular and optogenetics, stem cell and cellular biology, engineering, neurophysiology, and nanotechnology. Okay, anybody understand that? I'm going to give you my translation because you know I like things bite-sized and I like things simple. So the translation is brain mapping or brain remapping because your brain does have a map already, so it really is remapping. Really the translation of that is it's the intersection of your mind and your brain and using your mind to change your brain, but it's the intersection between the mind, which is um, something you can't see under a scope, right? It's uh, it's hard to identify the mind physically, um, and the brain, which has physical aspects. It's the cross-section of those two using your vision, using your emotion, using your surroundings, using all the data that's coming into the brain, and even using your thoughts and your emotion I, I mentioned to rewire your map through associations or relationships. So, the reason that this works is because of neuroplasticity, and you're probably familiar with that. Neuroplasticity is, is the ability of the brain to reorganize itself and grow itself, to literally, based on input coming in, form new axons, form new dendrites that, that make different synaptial relationships, different synapses corresponding with each other, and that literally, physically, changes the composition of your brain or your map, which also means that New habits can be formed, new thoughts can be formed, emotions can be released and repatterned. Um, so it's the ability of, the, of all of our brains to change every single day. And that, might, that is power, right? That is ultimate power to be able to change your own brain every day. 20 years ago or so, we didn't think the brain could be changed. In neuroscience, it was the study of the brain, but it really thought that um, you had to work with what you have. Now we know there's neuroplasticity and we get to rewire and remap that brain all the time. So today there's many ways to rewire your brain and remap it, but I'm going to talk about three and especially I'm going to focus on the do-it-yourself way to do that so that you can put this into practice today. Um, but there is something called neurofeedback. Maybe you've done that. I'd love to hear if you have. And even with neurofeedback, there's there's varying definitions, and depending on the practitioner, it will be a little bit different approach, but it's highly personalized, highly personalized brain training using software um, in to uh, respond to learning or new experience and, and rewire and remap the brain. So this is where you'd go to a practitioner, you'd go to a neurofeedback center, you might need one session, you might need multiple sessions, but 
through the use of software and technology, you remap your brain. So that's one type of brain remapping. Um, there's also the visual and um, auditory and uh, meshing of our sensory stimulation in the environment that you're in. What that looks like is vision boards, positive affirmations, putting yourself in a new environment, putting yourself around new people, but doing something visually or even pattern interrupts, even internally, to, um, to set a new path that your brain that can, can then track and can follow. So that can be affirmations, that can be power words, that can be uh, vision boards. There's lots of different ways to remap your brain through changing the stimulus it's receiving. What I want to talk about today is a really powerful way to remap your brain, and that is experiential, through a felt experience. So simply having a new experience can remap your brain. And in fact, in the book Super Brain with uh, Deepak Chopra and his partner Tansy, um, they write about, in particular, physical illnesses, recovering from brain damage, concussion, stroke, actually, they write a lot about stroke, um, how stroke patients or patients of, of brain damage, uh, neurological damage, um, injuries, accidents, concussions, those kinds of things, even in those extreme or more extreme situations, exposure to new felt experiences has proven to help them rewire, remap their brain, and gain back cognitive function. So if it can work for somebody who's been in that situation, it can certainly work for those of us who have not. And what that means is having a new felt experience. So what's a new felt experience? That could mean doing something that you've never done before. Something that you've thought about doing, but you've never done it. Go ahead and put yourself in that situation. It could also be thinking something that you've never thought before. When I help our vibrant women rewrite their thinking, I say, what if the exact opposite were true? Take your thought back to the belief that you have, and then for, an, for as long as you can, imagine and think about what if actually what you believed is completely false and the exact opposite is true? Wow, that's a new felt experience through thought. A new felt experience can be having a new emotion. So using your pattern interrupt to say, okay, this situation usually evokes fear in me or frustration in me or discouragement in me or whatever that emotion is, choosing to feel a different emotion about it. Something that can help with that emotion is change your perspective in the thought, but have a new felt experience with your emotion. Um, there's really no end to the possibilities of felt experiences. It could be going to a different place either on vacation, on a weekend. Um, it, it could be taking a different route home from work tonight. It could be hanging out with different new people. It could be going to a gathering of people that are doing something you've never, ever experienced or done before. But all of these are having new felt experience. And when you gain new experience, and again, this is, um, it, you can find lots of studies on this in neuroscience, but in particular, uh, in Superbrain, Deepak talks about this, that that has the ability to even heal stroke, stroke consequences of stroke, uh, concussions, things of that nature. So in particular, I hope everybody takes this and tries it today, but in particular, if you have any kind of medical condition going on, any kind of diagnosis, any kind of injury, put yourself in a new experience. Learn something new, learn a new skill, learn a new hobby, put yourself in a visually new experience, Paint, paint your room, maybe, um, get new furniture, rearrange the furniture that you have, but something that is a completely new experience that you feel and that you visually see, that you have emotions about, that you have thoughts about, and it's, it's a new experience that will literally help remap your brain and your neural pathways. So that's my invitation to you on this Feel Good Friday, is do something today that is a completely new experience and share here in the, in the comments what you do, and know that simply by doing that, you have started to form new neural pathways and made a difference in your brain, and you're starting to map out the brain that you'd like to have. So if you'd like to be more courageous, do something courageous, and you've just told your brain that you are, and you've started that mapping. If you'd like to be more creative, do something creative, 
and you just told your brain that you are and you start that remapping. So I can't wait to hear about uh, what you come up with. And if you struggle with this, whether it's because of um, neurotransmitter deficiency or your thoughts are so, just so ingrained or your beliefs are so subconscious that you can't even figure out what they are, I'm here to help. I support women in breaking through their limited thinking and learning to be with their emotions and develop emotional capacity every single day. In fact, our vibrant women start first with clarity. We develop clarity of what they want. They engage physical fitness from a brain fitness standpoint, a body fitness standpoint, a dietary, you know, eating the foods to keep you fit. Then from that clarity, it moves into capacity, emotional capacity, and develop the courage to actually take action on their dreams. So share in the comments what you do today that is a new experience. And if you'd like support, or if you struggle to get yourself to go out and do that new experience, then definitely um, comment on that too, because I'm here to support you. Have a great Friday, everybody.